Hello Virgos, it is AD with cast hair on. I'm going to be doing your July 2019 reading, guys. Thank you so much for tuning back in and thank you so much for your patience if you have been waiting, all right? Shout out to those of you that are old. Shout out to those of you that are new. I'm so happy to have you here as we grow and expand, guys. Okay, so... Ah, Virgos... <laughs> As, uh, you know, as people who follow me for a while, you know that you guys are by far my biggest audience and um, biggest supporter. So I absolutely love you. You know, my mother's a Virgo, you know, all these other things. So I just want to say, I know y'all are going through it. I know it. I know y'all are going through it. I trust, listen, all of y'all, please understand and find solace in the comment section, you know. I do want to build a community where we can all support one another because you guys are in desperate need of some support because basically what is happening here now is like you are in this weird phase of the transition and this is probably like the hardest part for you guys. This is probably the easiest part for like a Pisces or even a Taurus, <laughs> but it's really difficult for a Virgo because this is the part where you are just waiting you're just seeing what's out there you're just seeing what's happening you know you're just waiting for things that you have put into motion to start moving and it is taking every fiber in your being to not explode all right and i understand that guys trust me i get it time is a social construct right <laughs> but <laughs> everything happens in divine timing guys and and it's going to give you the freedom to explore the things that you want to explore as long as you just wait out this last period. It's getting better. It is literally getting better as we speak. The universe is working overtime to make sure that you are going to be put in the position that you can be most successful in doing that. So just if you can bear with it for this for this little piece, I, I, I feel, <laughs> I feel in my gut, in my bones that, um, the end of July and August through like September and all that stuff is going to be a really big month for you as far as just seeing movement and things that have felt stagnant for a very, very, very long time. For a lot of you guys, this is this is like one of those like completely round. It's like one of those, it's all encompassing. So this is work. You guys have been looking for new work. You guys have been looking for new places to live. You guys have been, you know, just searching to to better your situation it's just like okay there's all this change that's supposed to be coming in where is it what's happening how do i get there like i so clearly know what i want now but time is not moving fast enough and for a lot of you guys and i know that i can speak for my mother and for some people that i've done personal readings for not to put your business on the street but you know a lot of people are recovering from like surgery or recovering from something pretty traumatic and you're forced to sit like you can't even get up and apply to the jobs like you want to you can't go out and shop for houses like you want to or what have you you're not in the position to move because spirit and the universe has really put virgos on your asses guys and i completely understand your frustration and i empathize and i sympathize and the only thing that i can say <laughs> is it's gonna get better <laughs> It's going to get better. The sun is going to come out tomorrow. You will be in a place where you're going to be so in control of your faculties. And, and this is going to be one of those things where you're going to look back on it. You're going to be like so busy and so overcome with work and all these other things that you're going to want this break that you have. So if you can try to challenge yourself to enjoy this resting period, because that's really what it is. It's going to prepare you for this next cycle that is coming in that you guys feel. The thing is that you feel it energetically and that's why you're so, 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 hey, so. Hey, 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 like so pressed to move forward and get going because you understand like spiritually, karmically, whatever. You're like, something has to change. Something needs to change in my life. Either I need to change or this needs to change. Either I need to change or my job needs to change. Either I need to change, my partner needs to change. It's one of those things and you guys are, excuse me, relentless. Relentless and like per and pursuing that and, and seeking that perfection but it's just not the best time for it right now you understand what i'm saying you're just in a period of rest but let's get into i just wanted to get that off my chest before we even get into this reading and i love this the ace of cups at the bottom of the deck Ooh, with the nine of cups i mean so there is wish fulfillment there is a new beginning that's coming it's just you guys are waiting you're in like this very much hangman mode um so I would not be surprised if he comes out, but 
I get it. It's gonna get it's gonna get better. I promise. I can promise that, you know. Well, I guess I can't promise anything, but so I take back the promise. But I certainly am confident that for a vast majority of you guys, you're gonna sense a shift between cancer season and um Leo season. When that happens, so that's gonna be like the 20 first 22nd ish of july when that's when things are going to start picking up and you're going to start seeing that light at the end of the tunnel or those opportunities that you'll be waiting for if you've been pl applying for a whole bunch of jobs and you haven't heard anything back like nothing back it's been complete crickets and tumbleweed you're going to start hearing back okay people are going to start reaching out keep in mind that we are certainly in that retrograde okay and that is pretty much all months so expect july to just be long and slow <laughs> and dreary so if you can take vacations or go beach go to the beach or do things that distract you you know pick up a book or, or something um pick up a new hobby learn how to knit anything will distract you from wanting you know from your desires right now all right oh but yeah, I see new a new new financial opportunities of abundance coming in for those of you who are searching for a new job. Um just just new, bigger, better, bolder, wilder, grander. It's coming. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So we just had the star card pop out. So you could be connecting with an Aquarius, but this is about wish fulfillment and healing that healing energy that i was talking about some of you guys be it physical where again you had to be put on your ass <laughs> where you're sitting on your ass is healing that and it's in it's offering you a new opportunity a new way of life a new looking at things i mean you're going to look at this a year you're going to look at this transition a year later and you're going to be like wow i can't believe that i was that person you know what i'm saying it's that type i mean this is major arcana energy guys so this is a big 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 shift and it's just a beautiful thing. Look, and, and, and even into the Empress, okay? Um, you're just going to be receiving a lot of abundance. You're going to be... And when I say receiving, it's because you put in that work. It's not like it's just going to magically come to you, right? Because that's probably what I'm, I'm sensing a lot of you are fearing that, you know. But what if I haven't put in the work? You absolutely have. And now the universe is doing its part, to make sure that you are going to be fulfilled. And you just have to trust trust the universe and thank the universe before you even see it and believe that it's coming. And I mean, it's going to be plentiful. It's going to be so much. You're gonna be so overwhelmed and so overcome with joy. And you're gonna be in such a different position than you are now. I, I just, I feel that for you guys, but I understand that me saying that it's not today and it's not gonna be tomorrow or the week after that or the week after that or the week after that maybe the week after that that's not what y'all want to hear right now so that's why you know it's <laughs> i thank you so much for your patience guys but i, I i'm surrounded by virgos in like my waking life, you know, I, I love you guys. And I've just been like, man, this message is going to be not what they want to hear. <laughs> my mom was like, I'm going to do a Virgo takeover. And I'm going to tell <laughs> I'm gonna tell us Virgos that, hey, we need to figure out something else. So be prepared for that, guys. But yeah, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. Look, so we just had the um, Knight of Pentacles in the Temperance card. Slowly but surely, you are reaching that balance and higher elevation and execution is what I was saying. It Look at this night. And this is your night, too. So understand that sometimes you are this energy. Maybe that's maybe that's a new way to look at it. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, my mom, when she sees it, she's going to rip me a new booty hole. But that's fine. But I'm just like, this, you know, as far as, like, you... Earth energy can be very slow because it's very practical, but it wants to be successful. So you could be on the receiving end of that slow energy. Do you want to understand what I'm saying? So like, it's one of those, it's not like you reap what you sow, but his foot isn't even moving because he's so busy on plotting and looking forward to the future. Perhaps you've been that person in a connection or you've been that person when it came to making a final decision. And so now the universe is kind of moving slowly, but methodical. It's going to be one of those things where it's a steadfast plan all right it's coming together it's it's that tortoise energy you know 
slow and steady wins the race. And that is how the universe is treating you. It's like, it doesn't need to rush in. It doesn't need to come in as soon as you want it because it's not done yet. You know, you're ready to get the cake and it's not fully baked. It might look good on the top, but you know, when you dip that goo in and you pull it out and then it's still gooey, that's where it is right now. It's not done. It's not ready. You can bite into some raw chicken if you want to. You can finish a half baked cake if you want to but you don't want to, <laughs> you don't, you know, <laughs> so let it cook, you know, but you can sit and look at the microwave, look at the oven and check every two seconds. If you want to, it's still not going to be done. It's not going to rush that. But when it finally completes, guys, it's a beautiful thing with the temperance card and the Sagittarius energy here. I mean, this is absolutely higher elevation. This is achievement. This is promotions. All right. It's moving on up. All right. This is taking um, a situation, taking a feeling, taking a, you know, a financial circumstance and it's making it, it's putting it higher. It's giving it some higher elevation guys. And so that's what's happening. And it's happening slowly because you really don't want to sign contracts during Mercury retrograde. You don't. Oh, look, we even have the death card. So there's transformation here. It's, it's slow though, but it's like, you don't really even want to put the cart before the horse during this time anyway and the universe has just made it a point for you to just be on your ass for a little bit it's okay jo join the team pisces we stay on our ass <laughs> but we like it there <laughs> all right and one all right but this is um i love y'all so much i love y'all so much and i just feel <laughs> I just feel like it's coming together, but that that thing called patience is just a thorn in your side. And honestly, I know that you, I love you guys and y'all seem to love me. You tell me all the time, so I, I accept it, I receive it, but I don't know what to say other than be patient. <laughs> I have no key advice. I have no witty stories, you know? <laughs> I'm just like, just hang in there. It really is going to, it really is going to come out. Look at that. The 10 of Pentacles, I'm at the 10, I'm sorry, of Pentacles, but the 10 of Cups is the underlying energy that we have for this reading of July. That's why I'm like, I, and that I, you saw it, I didn't look. I feel so positive about what's going on. I just know it's not happening in the time that you would like it. And I don't really have any thing to say about that <laughs> right so we have the page of swords the ten of wands the eight of wands the hair font taurus energy I'm getting real strong taurian energy um the death card boom coming up as the heart of this reading we have the eight of swords coming up too Oops, sorry the seven of swords the Eight of Cups. And last but not least, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So we have Eight, 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 Eight. Um, oh my gosh, you have Eight, 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 Eight. You have all the Eights. August is what I'm trying to tell you. August is going to be a phenomenal month for you guys. Virgo season is going to be it for a lot of you guys. You're going to be receiving a lot of the communication that you've been waiting for. And you'll be able to lay to, to rest some of the anxieties. But the thing about eight, it is your forever terms, right? Eight is that infinity symbol. It's the continuous. That's why this transformation is taking so long to take place. Because this is really going to be your 20-year cycle, guys. I can't stress that enough. That's why I'm like, you wanting to rush this, it's it, it, it's really a cake. It really, really is a cake. Um, or chicken, or a, a, a roasted pig, right? <laughs> it really is something that's gonna require a huge change and shift for you. Um, because it's going to be so big and it's going to be so long lasting. It's going to set you, it's going to set your traditions and all that good stuff. Um, with the hair font being here. Okay. So pretty interesting energies. Again, like I said, a lot of you movement, I did say movement and travel for you guys who are moving and you are traveling. I see, um, that taking place, that transforming, um, you possibly getting some information about it. I'm going to clarify all of this. Um, but being able to release some of those burdens that you've been scared about, right? But, and the Page of Swords has been here in 
a lot of the personal Virgo readings that I've done. And what I've been getting, and, and normally, you know, this is the spine card, but this is also the do your research card. This is a time where if you're really in a state of frazzleness and you're trying to get to the next stage, you're trying to get to the next part of life, you're trying to get to that next transition, great, more power to you. I support it. But make sure that you are doing your due diligence and your research before you sign in and commit to anything. That's why this retrograde is so important. You don't want to sign up for anything that you have not done your research on, okay? And that is why this time is there. So if you have to distract yourself with something, it could be reading about your job, reading about a new um, school program. If you thought about going back to school, getting a certificate, but just understanding it in and out. Um, so by the time August comes in, when the opportunities start rushing in, guys, um, you'll have you'll very 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 clearly and easily know what it is that you want and what you're looking for guys i see a lot of you exiting a situation quietly and this is probably has to do with work if you've been looking to exit your working situation i see it happening but it's going to happen quietly you're keeping it to yourself you're you're, you're not going to have a whole bunch of fanfare as you leave I, I sense that people know that you're trying to leave but as far as where you are in your journey when that new opportunity comes in that new financial opportunity and um um, those phone calls start rolling in, which they will. I'm here to tell you they are. Excuse me. I see you guys just leaving the situation quietly, all right? <laughs> in the heat of the night, not leaving, not saying a word, all right? This is, has to particularly deal with work. It can obviously be in a relationship or a long-term relationship, right? But you are, you're moving on to something that you can really focus on. You're releasing a lot of burdens. You're walking away from them. You're genuinely walking away from the Ten of Wands, which is just having the weight of the, having to carry the wor weight of the world by yourself. And you're walking in towards, um, what I'm getting right now is like you're walking towards a place where you're really going to be in charge of you, um, it's not like you're not going to have a boss or anything, but or, or you could have a boss, but you're going to be second. You understand what I'm saying? Or you're going to freelance. It's like you're going to be way more in control of your time and not necessarily answering to somebody or answering to somebody who is difficult to answer to anymore. You're leaving that behind. That's what I'm saying. That's why I see the seven of swords, the secrecy here. It's it's coming from you. You're, you're not wanting to tell people about this transition and this transformation that you're having. You're trying to keep that to yourself. Absolutely. Because it's just nobody's business. Right. And you are nervous about it. You know, with the eight of swords, let's not forget that this is here. There's an anxiety written, but it seems like I really see a lot of you guys are actually taking off the blindfold and choosing to walk through it now. You know, you're nervous about, oh, if I piss this person off or whatever, just because like you care, you're not a cold blooded, cold hearted person, which I completely understand. And But um, what's happening right now is just, it's just time. It's just time for you to move on. It's time for you to grow. This is a major change to lay a very beautiful foundation for whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish and do. Be it, again, a new home, a new environment, a new relationship. You're just very clear in what you expect of those around you and what you expect to put in and what you want to get out of it in a way that you haven't before because there it's come with confidence this transformation has given you a new lease on life you know and that's why I'm just like you're so excited to get to that next phase you're so excited to get to the next chapter because you want to try out you want to show everybody your brand new shoes all right you want to show everybody your Patty LaBelle new attitude all right um and you're ready to get going but it's just not finished cooking yet it's it's not finished baking so just let it bake let it bake and take this as your you know vacation time all right let's see if we can clarify this um what's going on for virgos please let's clarify what's going on for virgo please i got a new shiny deck and i'm really really excited <laughs> all right so yeah so this is going, so we have the hermit and the fool come out. And basically, this is exactly what I'm saying. You guys, it's it, it's internal. You're internal into your external. 
this is just a time to just self-reflect, all right? The Hermit is a card of self-reflection, asking questions and finding what in, what, what's within, you know? It's not demonstrated in this particular card, but I always look at the Hermit when he's looking at that star. You're finding that star, and at this point, I don't even think that you're finding the star. You're actually acknowledging the star. You're addressing it. You've known what you wanted to do. You've known what you've worked, but for whatever reason, you've been scared to say it. You've been in your head. You thought it was too good to be true, but through this transition, through this last phase of life that's happening, happened for you these last couple of months or, or years you're just like look it is what it is I know what I want I know where I'm going I just want to go I'm so tired of these people I'm so tired of answering to this it's not anything that I hate there's no malice towards you but I am just ready to live and do for me you know and I feel like because you've gone internal you're ready to take that leap of faith again it's a slow moving energy yeah but look we have the wheel here at the bottom of the deck so the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor there is divine intervention that's happening as we speak it's cooking as we speak so again you can choose to look at the microwave oven if you want to you can stand there for the whole month if you want, if that's how you choose to spend your time. I would suggest picking up a hobby because it's not going to, your eyes are not going to make it bake faster. You understand what I'm saying? It's not going to come any faster <laughs> just because you decided to stand and stare at it, you know? So just be aware. Yeah, we have the eight of cups. So the eight of cups twice, movement, leaving things behind that no longer serve you. You are taking every step that you can towards your ten of cups confidently and assured okay and so that's why a lot of you guys maybe you just walked away from a situation you just exited it um or you're going to be exiting it soon but i do see travel and distance for you so if you're expecting to move or go somewhere i you know i see that you have every eight here i'm sorry you just have all the eights here let's not forget um but you're walking towards your ten of cups absolutely and it's going to be on more fronts than one. It's going to be love. It's going to be work. It's going to be home. Yeah. And we even have the tower card. So it could be connecting with the Scorpio. We have a lot of Scorpionic energy here. There's going to be some unexpected because you've lifted, you've completely ripped the structures that you had. Down, you've challenged, you've challenged yourself in ways that you haven't before. You're so open to doing things that you haven't done before. It's a really beautiful type energy that I got going for you, Virgos. Like, I'm so excited. And here we have, we have the Six of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. I just heard sharing is caring. <laughs> sharing is caring. Um, you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sharing is caring, but it's the other way around, guys. It's the other way around. It's, it's, you're allowed to receive help. You know, if somebody wants to share with you, it's because they care about you. It's a genuine, it's a genuine feeling. I feel like some of you guys feel indecisive about entering into some sort of partnership, all right? Some sort of union because you're scared of equal give and take and receiving, but you've become the selfish one in, in the transaction because you, 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 you don't even want to receive, <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? It's like you're not even open to receiving. Um, so there's some stagnation with some sort of partnership, all right? And this crept out. So I'm going to see if I can get some more information with that. Yeah, the lovers. So this has to deal with the partnership, a union. This can deal with a soulmate. Um, but it seems like you're in a state now where there's somebody or something that wants to give to you and wants to be in balance with you. It wants to come together in union. And it seems as if you're in a state of the two of wands where you don't want to move. You don't want to look at it. You don't want to deal with it. And because of that, you're basically demonstrating to this person that they can't care about you and you're not open to receiving it right now. And so be mindful of that because I don't think that you're doing that intentionally. It's probably because you're so focused on that. But this might be a nice distraction. This lover's card might be a nice distraction through July because July is going to be a long month, guys. It's going to move quickly, but the days are going to go by slow, if that makes sense. Like you're, July's going to end and you're going to be like, whoa, July flew by. But living in it, you're going to be like, man... I did nothing today. I didn't accomplish anything today. I didn't get any emails that I was looking to receive today. So that's going to be very nagging and annoying, right? <laughs> but 
if there is a connection that comes in or somebody who's trying to who wants to hang out with you or wants to do things with you i would suggest that you hang out with them just so you can get out of your headspace and and let them be able to care for you let them be able to give to you all right you are worthy of receiving don't ever forget that okay i don't know someone's telling me to get one more card from here as soon as i picked it up yeah all this <laughs> all this sword energy okay so we have the seven of swords again with the five of swords and the nine of swords yeah it seems like there's a fear that you're keeping in with yourself as far as this balance that's coming in um where you really i mean this it doesn't take a rocket scientist to say this like i'm not trying to brag or anything i'm not the you know i'm not trying to brag but it looks as if you don't want to get hurt in a situation it looks as if you're keeping things to yourself because you really are fearful of being betrayed or opening yourself up um to this person and then something ends up happening and you're just like i knew i should have just it would have been easier for me to just mind my business and leave everything alone i shouldn't have signed on to this or i shouldn't have done that i shouldn't date this person however it resonates with you you know take it um but i just feel like this fear is something that you should spend time to work through for whatever it's rooted on i can't say get over it but i'm sensing a genuine nature from this person but your fear and projecting is it's kind of um it's a it, this is also going to be challenged in this transformation. This is a part of your evolution. You know, there's just a lot happening for you guys right now. You guys <laughs> I'm definitely getting that you feel all over the place just because this reading has tapped on so many different subjects and I just be I just I feel like this death card is on all fronts of your life, romantic, financial, all of it, okay? So, sorry sorry so um you just have to you're just working through these swords energy you're so in your head there's a lot of swords energy in this clarify you're so in your head you're just working through through it but you're on the beginning when you start absolutely absolutely the wheel of fortune is turning in your favorite guys just hang in there that's really really all that all that i can say so yeah so i'm gonna move into your oracles guys so thank you this has been quite the reading i hope that it was so worth it you know what i'm saying but worth the wait <laughs> but guys please don't forget to like share and subscribe check out the description box below and information on how to book a personal reading with me i decided that i am going to extend my 25 dollars 15 minute reading so if that interests you then um please you can hit me up through my email but guys because my mom just got out of the hospital and i'm going through her recovery period please be patient with the readings i'm not going to try to be ridiculous with how long they take but I normally I try to do like a week turnaround, but it's it's more so on the 10 day turnaround. So please be informed of that before you decide to book a reading, because I would hate for you to think that it's going to come sooner. It could, but I just want to have the flexibility, you know, because my priority is with her. But I wanted to extend that reading, um, extend that special guys into this month because specifically because there are so many changes and stuff happening that I feel like. If I can help you in any way to, just to try to get you to calm down a little, then I want to extend that out to you, okay? But in the meantime, if that does not interest you, then please follow me on Instagram, The Wicked Witch of the West with three eyes, guys, okay? And I'm doing daily readings, or I'm trying to do daily readings, but I'm doing daily readings over there, so you can follow me that way, too. All right, so here we have Be Bold that just came out. And I had this really awesome quote, and it was from the Freddie Mercury movie, A Bohemian Rhapsody. And Freddie Mercury was a Virgo, guys. He was a Virgo, so this is great. And the line was, and I wrote it down in everything, it was, fortune favors the bold. And I think that that is what you've learned. You've taken the humble beginnings, the, oh, man, okay, whatever. I'm just going to sit. I'll make sure to do my part. I'll make sure to work as hard as I possibly can. I'm going to follow all the instructions. And I'm going to make sure that, I, that I'm perfect and da 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 But it did not work the way that you wanted to. You found out that you were undervalued. You found out that you were underappreciated. You found out that people, if you're not bragging about it, then people act like it did not happen. And you got hit with that, guys. And so now you've just been working on like hey this isn't fair i'm gonna make bolder choices i'm gonna start making 
making choices for me. And so you're stepping into this new energy again. Come Leo season, right? <laughs> come Leo season, you're really going to be embodying that and really just owning up to who the fuck you are and knowing your self worth and owning that a thousand percent and finding the confidence in who you are. And so this is beautiful. I see a lot of you guys tapping into that fire energy, but just know July is going to be slow, guys. But when August rolls around, you are going to be Sasha Fierce. All right. Shout out to Beyonce, another Virgo who, you know, can you imagine if Beyonce is going through some shiz like this? <laughs> What's Beyonce going through? <laughs> <laughs> so even we even have fire energy here with Sagittarius but luck is on your side I know luck is certainly on your side guys for real all right and three, two and one and then we have your dreams need a pl practical plan and this to me is what I was talking about earlier, and you are so aware of your dreams need a practical plan. Again, we have a lot of Taurus energy, but it's just like, excuse me, how do I word this? As you start moving forward, okay, you just, it's a need of doing your research and Yes, although your dreams need a practical plan and all that other stuff. I know what I want to say, but I'm trying to figure out how to say it. Um, allow yourself to dream, if that makes sense. Like, allow yourself to actually dream. Allow yourself to actually feel like... It's like, okay, here we go. Be practical in your ridiculousness, all right? Because now you should understand your worth. You should understand what you have going for you. And so anything that you felt was ridiculous for you before, you actually have a practical plan in order to get there. You know, for instance, if you had a dream to moving to Antarctica or whatever, somebody would be like, that's crazy before you even would have said it. But now you're just like, it's not crazy because I can handle it in Antarctica. Antarctica. I can move there. I can get there myself. I have the rain boots and all this other stuff. I've done the research. I can plot, do that, you know, and I'll be in Antarctica come December right there. And I'm going to follow all this plan. So it's just like, take this time to plan, you know, plan for those impractical things, right? The things that don't make sense. You have to be aware that you can really, really, really accomplish them. Okay. And you have to be confident in that. And so because you're planners, you know, like a Pisces, like myself, I'm just whatever. If I wake up that morning, I'm like, I'm going to move to Arkansas or whatever, you know, I'll just do it eventually. I don't have to have the plan. I'll be like, I'll figure out the rest when I get there. But because you're the opposite way, take this time to just be like, look, this is really what I want. This is a strategy that I can use to get there. All right. Don't be tied to this strategy because again, I feel like the universe is working in mysterious ways. So there's going to be miracles that are going to manifest for you. So I, like, that's why I'm like, your dreams do need a practical plan and, and, and it is going to happen that way. But this is more a time to strategize and have fun strategizing. Okay. I hope that that made, I hope that that made sense. That took a while to get out, but it's just like, go big, go big this time, go big and, and know that you are smart enough and have the wherewithal to get there. No matter how outrageous the dream is, no matter how ambitious you are, it's, it's coming. Be bold. Fortune favors the bold. It's turning in your, it's turning in your favor and luck is on your side. So don't think that anything is too big for you. Okay. Yeah. Here and now be present, be present. Okay. Enjoy. Even though you're looking to the future, you're strategizing, you're dreaming, but just appreciate the time that you're able to sit. Because once your life picks up to what you're asking the universe to do, once this eight of wands comes in and this tower moment comes in, baby, you're going to be on a go, okay? Absolutely. We have a change in the wind and co-create. This combination to me is like, you and the universe are conspiring together. And I just saw 333 when I looked up. You and the you and the universe are conspiring together. All right? So get 
to to make your dreams happen and, and to make your dreams a reality. And you're smart enough and have the wherewithal to get there. And you deserve it bigger than that. But in the meantime, enjoy your vacation. It doesn't seem like a vacation because you don't want a vacation right now. But really enjoy this vacation. Enjoy this period of rest that's being granted, all right? And then last but not least, oh, Lord have mercy. All right. That was crazy. All right, we're going to try that <laughs> again. So, take two. All right. I'll take that because, all right, we'll take it. Loon, intuitive. Listen to the song in your soul. Trust your intuition as you have a way of knowing. Emerge from the busy life and seek more solitude. Recognize that you are unique and that you are loved. <laughs> I love these cards. They just tie in so perfectly. You are loved and you are unique. That's what I'm saying. But this time of solitude, that's what's asking you for the here and now. It's listening to your own song. It's listening to your own song because you, you're so aware of this change that's happening. You know, it's killing you. It's killing you because you can't see it yet. And that's why it's just asking you to just, just breathe, imagine, and strategize, right? How you can get to what you want. Because once those opportunities come knocking on your door, you're going to want to be prepared for them, Virgos, okay? So that is what I got for you guys. Again, thank you so much for your patience. Please don't forget to check out the description box below on information on how to book a personal reading with me as far as that $25 15 minute reading guys and um follow me on instagram so you can check out those daily readings and don't forget to like share and subscribe and leave a comment below peace until next time hang in there virgos you got this